Hey, it looks like the Photix TV Final Cut Pro video, the one about problems with transitions, was very helpful. It was also very popular, with thousands of views, hundreds of likes, and hundreds of comments. Although the reason this video was popular was because it addressed a troubling issue with Final Cut Pro. Fortunately, Apple fixed it. At least, it works for me. You might want to back up your stuff before trying version 10.6.3. So here I was working on a video about Transformers Tactical Arena. But that video was exported already, so I'm free to experiment. First, the Final Cut Pro update needs downloading. That's a trip to the App Store. The update notes say, improves reliability when using drag and drop to replace a transition. Improves reliability when dragging a transition onto a connected clip. And fixes an issue where custom sound effects do not always appear in the sound effects browser. Ah, so Apple acknowledged the problem, and this appears to be the fix. There's only one way to be sure if it works. So, back to my project. Let's say I wanted to end this video with the Photix TV blueprint page curl. So, I add my blueprint image above the main video, and then I drag and drop the transition. It's kind of funny. Now I'm used to the workaround method mentioned in the previous video. <laughs> but there it is. This seems to work. Let's try that again to be more sure. I like to fade the base video when putting stickers above it. So I drag and drop a transparent image that is 75% black. Then I add the cross dissolve transition to the beginning and the end of the clip. It works. So hopefully this works for you too. But even though this problem is solved, hopefully we can still be friends as Photix TV is on the lookout for other technical troubles to fix. Thanks for watching.